Gardening is a great way to make your home more appealing, although that can be expensive as well. Yeah, it can definitely add up. This morning, our Tim Robinson is live at the Northwest there, Flower Tom. and Garden Show to uh, <laughs> give us some tips on saving some money. Tim, uh, yeah. the last hour, you gave us some interesting ideas. Yeah, that was Tom Watson. He's with King County Waste Management, and he says, get all the junk you're going to throw away and decorate your garden instead. You've got to be really creative if you want to do all that stuff. Check out this one. I just love this one. I've been showing you, because this is where we're parked. Terrific bronze medal, Garden Creator. Beautiful garden right here. I, I'm going to sashay right past my guest, Lad Smith, right there, and Tom, because I want, can we point the camera over there just to see all the action here? I want to show people how early they get going here at this big show. It starts at 9 this morning and goes till 8 tonight. And if you want to get a half-day ticket, if you've got to go to work, uh, you can get one for 13 bucks, and you don't have to spend the full 20 So swing it back over here. Lad, how are you? Good, how La are you? Lad Smith from In Harmony. What is In Harmony real quick? In Harmony Sustainable Landscapes. Sustainable Landscapes. Yep, so for 15 years we've been helping people develop and build their yards to uh, have healthy landscapes. And one of the healthy ways is to have something called tea compost. Is compost, compost tea, tea, right, is one of the things we can use. Tom, come, I'm going to put you to use it so you can pour some out. Actually, what is this? This is a, this is a small brewer that you can get, and they even have uh, smaller sizes that you can buy for relatively inexpensive. And this what, one would be kind of expensive. Yeah, this is kind of on the higher end, but what turn we're able on. to do... Yep, do you want to turn this on? Yeah, 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 look in there. It makes a great compost tea, and it's Excuse really good for your Tom. garden, and he, he's... Cranking well, it up. What is that? What is the compost? Well, what, what we it? do is we add water and then we add beneficial, uh, good compost, add some food sources, and then over a period of time we can actually build up a huge amount of beneficial microbes that we can go ahead and just take pour out and some, pour some out. Tom, pour us Support. Right here. Take there it is. Mm. And then we just apply this to the landscape. And what we can do with this is we can actually jumpstart soils, because that's the whole key of these landscapes, is to have healthy soils and create these healthy soils but, for a sustainable landscape. What would that take the place of that I could buy on a, on a shelf at a gardening store or something like that? You're making your own... I Correct. guess it's a lot cheaper, right? Well, what you're doing is what you're able to do is take good compost and have some, uh, uh, over time, be able to jumpstart our landscape so that it, instead of Mother Nature taking years and years to do it with her soil building But uh, what I want to establish is you can substitute a product that you could buy with your, making your own. Oh, yeah. You yeah. betcha. You can make your own. And somebody just told me, by the way, my good friend from REI, that they sell this stuff at some farmer's markets. Kids make it, and you can buy it by the gallon for five bucks, did you? Correct. Five bucks a year. That's nice. Yeah, it's good. It's all over the place. What is this? A couple other tools that we got here. This is for the worm bins um, or for your chickens. So you can put your food scraps in these, and these are about 20 bucks. And what you want to do is we're trying to reduce our carbon footprints in order to be sustainable. So you're keeping all these foods and using them on your property. Is this a composter compost. then? It's like a little mini. It carries your stuff out into your yard so you can put it into your compost bin. And so you have this inside your house. Is this a compost bin? Uh, yeah, well, this is what I'm showing here is that, you know, let's say you, you're, you're really tight on money, but weeds are a big problem problem for most people. So what we can do is we can build up the soil from the top by doing something relatively inexpensive called sheet mulching. You get like big pieces of cardboard like this. You can go out and get it at any uh, uh, hardware store or something right. like that, get big pieces or do newspaper, yeah. put it in layers. You come in and you can put some leaves in there. If anybody has some more leaves from their uh, from their uh, from the fall time and what we're doing is we're building soil from the top down and you're suffocating all those weeds underneath so you don't have to do any weeding this is quick and, and easy that paper just uh, paper discomposed and you come back in put a little compost on it if you want to to kind of keep those leaves down or even if you're really into it what you do is you can get arborist chips from any arborist company you can call uh, plant amnesty and they have a booth here at the flower and garden cool. show these are absolutely free they'll dump these at your house you can put them in your landscape Something like this, you've got a nice big deep layer nice. of organic matter on top of your soils. The worms come in and bring it back down. All the weeds die cool. underneath it. You plant it when you're ready. Thanks, lad. I appreciate it. In Harmony, thank, thank you, Tom, from King County Waste. Guys, back to you in the studio. Suffocate wow. those weeds. I like that. <laughs> yeah, good idea there. Thanks, Tim. Coming up, he's...